they call travel health notices, and that is their mechanism for getting out health-related information to U.S. travelers. Recently, last in January, so just last month, um, they implemented a new system where every country has a COVID-specific travel health notice, and they rate countries on a one through four rating system based on how many cases they've recently added, new COVID cases in that particular country. So there are lots of countries at our level four right now um, because of just case trends. The CDC does have a pretty low threshold for when a country moves up to a level four. Um, so USC certainly looks at that, we consider those ratings, but a CDC level four doesn't automatically mean that we're gonna revoke approval for a travel experience as a State Department level four does. They're just different criteria, different systems. The first thing we would advise students is that travel during a pandemic is going to look different than travel not during a pandemic. So things that we're encouraging students to think about are being more involved in your local community than you might typically be when you're studying abroad. We usually have lots of study abroad students who travel every weekend um, and kind of enjoy their study abroad experience in that way. If you're going during the summer or even during this upcoming fall semester, you are going to be expected to stay in your local community a lot more than you might otherwise would have been because travel across country borders, even from city to city within the same country, does carry risk, um, more risk than usual right now, and can be really challenging. So we really want students to enjoy the place that they're going to be in. And even that can look different. You know, you might spend a lot more time socializing outdoors than you would have otherwise because of uh, restrictions on restaurants or bars or that sort of thing. You might spend time with a smaller number of people than usual. Um, so a lot of the same precautions that we're using here in the U.S. will also translate to a study abroad experience. All USC study abroad students are required to have our International Emergency Medical Insurance Plan and that provides coverage if you were to contract um, COVID and get sick and need hospital treatment or a doctor's care or that sort of thing. That is not a trip cancellation policy, but our program provider, our insurance provider does have a trip cancellation policy that students can choose to purchase and we're certainly encouraging students um, to think about purchasing that. That would reimburse you for program expenses if your program um, were to be canceled or even shortened. Um, and there are lots of other companies out there that also provide trip cancellation insurance, um, so you can look at those as well. But our insurance provider is a good option as well. Increasingly, lots of countries around the world are requiring that travelers um, either provide a negative test result upon entry, um, so you can get tested here and then show your negative test result when you go in, or even require that you test negative at the airport. It, just, it varies depending on the country. So it could, it is very likely, increasingly likely, I would say, that you will have to provide some sort of test or test result. And you can keep up with that. Every U.S. Embassy now has a web page where they list all of this information for every country around the world. So that's how you can stay up to date with what the testing requirements are uh, for the country you're going into. And yes, when you return, right now the U.S. is requiring that all travelers have tested negative within three days prior to their flight's departure. So again, that same embassy webpage, it's called the COVID health information page on every embassy website. Um, they also provide information on how you can get tested in that destination country. Thank you.